Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend Katrina, and we are here at the Red Rose Tavern for some lunch. Uh, it's a kind of a village house overlay. This is the Pinocchio-themed restaurant normally, but uh, when the movie, the live-action movie came out, they decided to make it a Beauty and the Beast restaurant. So here we are, and uh, I'm excited because yeah. Beauty and the Beast is like my favorite movie. So I'm exactly. glad that they changed it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and not only is it a great theme, but it's got pretty good food too, so come on and join us. Let's go eat some food. And here's what we have on the menu. This is basically a selection of flatbreads, salads, and sandwiches with some french fries and poutine thrown in for good measure. And then, like most of the places in Disney, I always like to show the allergy menu as well for those that have allergies. And if the kids don't want any part in any of that stuff, there's the kids menu for you. Okay, so I got the enchanted cauliflower uh, sandwich that's gluten free. Um, it's a, right now I can just touch it and it's like already cold, so it's gonna be kind of hard to eat already. If you know what gluten free is, it's gonna like fall apart. Um, doesn't give that more, like, it's like morbid. Morbid? No, that's uh, not what you mean. What is the word? What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, anyway. I don't know what word you're looking so for. So I got the aioli on the side. It's like a lime aioli. And so it's kind of spicy. Um, I don't know if you can zoom up on that. You can see like little spicy flecks in there. Alright. This is a really big bite. No, it isn't. You did. <laughs> that was a tiny bite. <laughs> um, what do you think? It's good. That's spicy. Um, it's a curry cauliflower. It's really good. Um, the curry is like really, oh my gosh. The curry is really subtle. Um, and then, yeah, it's like a, it's, it's good for a vegetarian. Um, what about the, the bread? Thing, you said it was gonna be hard to eat. The bottom one is already hard to eat. Like I kind of like bypassed it with my uh, teeth. Um, gotcha. Yeah, it's good. I, I like it. Okay, so first I'm going in for the poutine. It's got the braised beef, the uh, pickled onion, gigantic cheese curds. Actually, I should probably get a like a good piece of everything. I'm gonna need a couple of utensils. And these these fries are a little bit different. They're not they're like waffle fries as opposed to the other fries. So get a little bit of everything. Unfortunately, when we first started coming here, it was it was gluten free, and then something happened, and they've had to change the recipe. It's not anymore, but it's braised beef. I mean, you can taste kind of the red wine. You can taste the gravy that comes in poutine. The cheese curds are delicious. They're kind of like I don't know if you can see. They've got kind of the green on them that you know they were like uh, tossed in something. But... The fries are a little bit soggy already, but. We had to vlog some stuff. So, but yeah, overall really good, super good. Okay, I got the cauliflower sandwich as well. Unlike the gluten-free version, it has ciabatta. Uh, I got the sauce on the side, but they put the sauce on it too, but this bite doesn't have any sauce, so. Also, unlike the gluten-free one, it has uh, these little fried tempura green beans, and they're actually really good, but here we go, I'm going in for a bite. It's really good because it's not, you would expect cauliflower to be bland, but they uh, marinate it so well that it just has so much flavor packed into it and like it has just a little bit of curry flavor like Katrina said and then uh, just seasoned perfectly with salt and pepper so and the sauce. What is the green beans? Are they crunchy? Yeah, they're crunchy. They're crispy. I think I heard it. They're good. I mean, they're not quite hot. They're, they've probably been cooked a little while ago, but it's still really good overall. And like, even if you're, even if you consider yourself a meat eater, like I do, like I'm most of the time I'm eating hamburgers and stuff. This is like super good sandwich. I love it. So. Okay, so when you're ordering this, make sure you ask for palm frites because when she just asked, do you want fries with it? I just said yes, and then I got regular fries. But then when they delivered it, I was like, oh no, I wanted the garlic uh, fries. And he said, you need to ask for palm frites. So these have garlic, a lot of garlic, Parmesan cheese, and just it's just 
delicious. Yeah. So what I would do is I'd put some of these on here. Make up for the then, missing and, green beans, for the tempura and, green beans. There you go. Absolutely Smart correct. idea. Money. We also got the gray stuff. Unfortunately, this is not gluten free, so. Um, it is basically a red velvet cake with raspberry preserves and a little raspberry in there. There's like some little sprinkles on top, and then there's a tea cookie on the bottom. So, here I go. I'm gonna dig in. Let's see if I can get you a cross section in there. That's pretty good. Look at that cake at the bottom. It's like a lot of mousse. I think that's basically what it is, vanilla flavored mousse. I don't think that's mousse. I think that might just be straight up frosting. That is a lot of frosting. That's kind of too much for me. It's like a lot of sugar. I'm gonna try this cookie. It's like a normal shortbread cookie. Very sugary, kind of falls apart. It's just sugar and butter, basically. But overall, I don't know if I'd recommend this. It's not really my favorite. Um, I don't really see any raspberry preserves in there either. Do you? There's a little bit of raspberry right there. And there's just a full on raspberry. I also noticed if you look really closely that there is like actually lemon zest in the shortbread cookie, so there's just straight up lemon in there, just a lemon shortbread. It's not bad, but I don't know if I could recommend it for the price. So as for the restaurant itself, it used to be called Village House, and this is kind of an overlay of a Pinocchio themed restaurant, Village House. And uh, inside, I kind of just noticed this while I was looking around just now, there's actually a lot of bell and enchanted castle stuff on one side and then a lot of Gaston stuff, tavern things on the other side. So I think that's really cool. Along with that, there's also like little shops in the area with the cash registers. Um, you can see little shops above and each, there's like a place that sells bread and a place that sells uh, groceries and stuff, so another neat little uh, detail that they've added. Um, and then, of course, the red roses everywhere, so. A nice little theme that they've done. Pretty amazing overlay for a restaurant uh, in the middle of Fantasyland. And it's got good food and it's popular, so. Altogether, it was about $40. We got a lot of food uh, that we couldn't really finish. I think you could do it like for four people probably. Like maybe you could bring a couple little kids and do the four person thing. But with the poutine and the two cauliflower sandwiches, uh, and then we got a 10% discount, which I think is the wrong discount, but still we got a 10% discount. Um, it is $37.29, so there you go. Okay guys, well that does it for our lunch at the Red Rose Tavern. Uh, what would you think, Katrina? To be honest, I mean, I loved it. Don't get me wrong, I love Beauty and the Beast. But I wish they had more gluten-free options on the menu. Um, just, I mean, I wish they had a little bit, just a little bit extensive menu. But they have like the basics, like a cheeseburger, like a, like a vegetarian sandwich, pizza, kids options. It's fine. For the money, it's like any normal fast uh, fast food here, so. You think so? I, I think me, it's around see, $10. I personally right? think, well, for the money, but I personally think that it's actually better than most of the quick service in the park, so... If I could I mean, eat the poutine, I probably would come here all the time. So that's that's <laughs> what we talked about before, is that they used to be... They used to have gluten-free uh, uh, braised beef, but now they don't anymore, so... Right. I used to love It's kind of unfortunate, burger, yeah. So that's a little bit sad, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, other than that, I mean, you know, it's weird that some parts of the resort have gluten-free flatbread. You know, this one only has gluten-free cheese pizza, so that's... Uh, kind of a weird thing, but you know, that's that's the way it is. Um, overall, again, I think it's like the best food in the park, quick service. So if you don't have an allergy and you can eat that stuff, maybe head on over to Red Rose Tavern. And, and again, it's an overlay, so we're not even sure how long it's gonna last. It could go away kind of any day, really, so. Go and check it out while you have the opportunity. So, I would. And yeah. it's really cool too. While you're eating, you can see the cool little tidbits that are in there. You can try to find Lumiere, you can try to find Mrs. Potts. It's, it's really neat. Exactly. So yeah, that's going to do it for us. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And 
Tell us what you think of Red Rose Tavern. Do you miss Village House? Do you want it to come back? Or do you want Red Rose Tavern to stick around forever? Forever. Uh, forever, please. I would rather have I mean, I like it better <laughs> than the Village House food, too, so. Okay, bye, guys. Next time.